All right, gentlemen, I've been over the rules with you both. You're professionals. I expect you to conduct yourself as such. Touch gloves. Good luck. Alim Kanuli. Absolutely, yeah. And, and Kanuli, you'll see taller, longer, rangy guy. Um, also fighting out of that southpaw stance. He's a, he's a veteran. He knows what he's doing. He's moving to, to his left. He's leading with that, that straight right hand. You mentioned you've watched a lot of John Abex fights. This is, I think, the fourth fight I've called of John Abex. And if you look at his fights since coming to the U.S., lose a lot of confidence. And he said, absolutely, as are most fighters who come from the boxing laboratory and was before they even turn pro. As Ono Lunose, you can always expect Chris a great crowd in Fresno. Obviously, we know from in Igas Klimas gym with trainers like Buddy McGirt, and it's got to be tough to put everything on the line, leave your family, go to a brand new country where you don't speak the language. To... You see Ono Lunose really struggling with that distance, kind of just pawing at John Abek as that overhand left just misses from Alim Kanuli. And good straight left to finish off round number two. Pick up the pace, he's got to get stopped, and just got to put a hurt on these guys. So early, um, that's that's definitely a, a risk. But Ed, is it difficult for the taller fighter to go down to the body consistently? It, one thing you see when Onolunose has to really reach and try to get at John Abek, he really opens himself up. Yeah, said in complete control, and I, I expect him to just pick it up as the rounds go on. The WBO number 16 by the WBC. That's up from 15 and 30 respectively. So I, I would expect John Abek to, to take advantage of that by going to the body. When you got a guy who's expending that much energy and it's so tense. However, he said Onolunose is just trying to survive. Yeah. Good overhand left there from Janabek. If you're Buddy McGirt, would you want to see something following that up? It's only round number four. You know, he's, he's putting the pressure on the guy, and now he's starting to get to him more and more. So um, maybe not opening up just yet because Ono Nolosa is only looking for the one punch. The time comes to really let those hands go. Well, he is really, Janabek is really picking apart Ono Lunose. Another straight left splits. Good head movement, upper body movement by Janabek. Yeah. Utilizing up the jab. Utilizing a very difficult style to, to deal with. Ooh, six punch combination rattles off. Fast hands too. Beautiful, beautiful work. Liam Carnuli putting on the pressure here in the final seconds of round number four. Ona Renose has shown no signs of being able to counter what Ali Hanuli is throwing at him. And that's something that I said, you know, at the top of the show about Janabek. I really like how he's progressing as a fighter. Each each time out, I see something new. Even though he's the taller guy, I, I've, I've seen him use a lot more footwork in the past, a lot, of, a lot more lateral movement, which is good that he has that in there. Um, but but in this fight specifically, he's been very much on his feet. You see the sharp eye of referee Eddie Hernandez Sr. peering at Ono Lunosa. You have to imagine that Ono Lunose is going to need to show Hernandez something if he wants to continue through what is a scheduled another five and a half, four and a half rounds of this fight. Yeah, once again, we saw Ono Lunose going for a shot and missing widely and then getting hit with two, three shots. Oh, yeah, they add up. They add up. Everybody's shot counts. Three punches in a row from John Abek as he marches forward under the midway point here in the fifth round. We're leading up to our main events of the evening. Got a great heavyweight bout. Number one IBF contender, Kubrat Pulev, going up against Rydell Book for active duty and veteran military members. Just trying to defend himself. And you see right there, anytime Ono Lunose goes inside, the power left hand, that sweeping hook of John Abek Alim Kanuli has landed at will. Straight left hand again from John Abek. Alim Kanuli has thrown consistently round through round, not taking a round off at all. Continuing to work on that technique, the combination punches inside, outside, distance control, everything has worked for Alim Kanuli here in this fight. I'm seeing some blood. I don't know if Janabek has a little cut on the side of his eyebrow or if that's actually blood from Ono Lunose. Ooh, good body shot. Dug that one deep. And a smile from Alim Hanuli. And that is a cut on the left eyebrow of Janabek. Doesn't look like it's too serious at the moment. I think Ono Lunose is hurt to the body. Yeah, I think he's, he's taking some hard shots. 
show the punch. It was, it was that body shot earlier. Hernandez, referee, thinking about stepping in, look, taking a long look at Ono Lunose, who has not thrown a punch in quite some time. And now he takes a knee. Never quite recovered from that body shot. No, no, and you see Ono Lunose looking to his corner. That's never a good sign. I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he stays down there. Yeah, he's looking to his corner, looking for help. You know, why let him continue to go at this point? No reason for him to continue. Yeah, it's not going to be much longer at all. Hernandez is at the ready to stop this fight. And Ono Lenose is done. That's enough. Caught in the corner. And Janabek Alim Ghanouli, despite that late cut over the left eye, a dominating performance for his eighth victory in as many attempts. Declaring the winner by way of knockout, still WBC Continental Americas and WBO Global Middleweight Champion, Kazakh Style, Johnny Beck, Alim Khanou.